right, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, you know who it is, Soundwave77, back at it again with another gig log. Well, sort of. I just wanted to do a quick little rundown. This will be a part one of two videos that's going to kind of just briefly go over my setup and uh, some of the equipment that I use. You know, I have uh, my truck packed full of stuff. I keep it packed full of, uh, you, you know, some at least some equipment so I can be ready to go for any last minute events that people call me up for. Um, you know, it's happened plenty of times so where I learned to keep the truck kind of packed with some sort of equipment to just be ready to go at a drop of a hat. So real quick, um, we're gonna go over just some quick, briefly, some of the stuff that I use just to uh, help some of these up and coming DJs, you know, just know where I got my start, how you can get started, and some of the stuff that I've used in the past. Real quick, this is just a real simple Chauvet LED it's a DJ bar, the DJ bank from Chauvet, and there's no DMX on this. It's just real simple. You know, it's got a little stand there, so you can use it as an up light. And um, it's got power in and out, and it's uh, sound active, so you can adjust that here, the sensitivity, and then you got your speed, min and max there. Uh, it's a real simple light. This is one of the first LEDs I got though, um, and I've had it forever. So this is before I had any DMX capabilities. And, uh, but it worked great for what I needed it for and I still use it to this day. So, you know, it's a great little accent up light and stuff. Here we got, these are, this is the ADJ, American DJ brand. And this is a two pack, it's the V-Bar pack, right? So you got nice little up lights. People use these a lot, maybe to uh, put behind a facade or they work great for up lighting and stuff like that, right? Nice little two pack. And uh, those, again, they work great for, for what they are. And uh, they're not the most expensive light, but they got the job done for me. Here we got some good old, just these are just LEDs, Chinese, Amazon, whatever you want to call them. You know, I, I don't even remember the name. I think it's got like 13 numbers and letters, crazy. You know, you know how those Chinese names can be. So this is just a real simple DMX in and out, you know, real simple. It's got your menu right there. Real simple, simple, man. Get in where you fit in, or fake it till you make it, however you wanna put it. That's real, and it works. And and these aren't the most expensive lights, but they get the job done. And uh, you, you know, when I could afford to upgrade, I upgraded, and I'll show you those in a minute. But again, these are just some, these aren't the most expensive, but they're, you know, some decent up lights by Proline. You know, we've got, six different colors, seven different colors right there. So it gives you nice options as far, you know, three channels, DMX mode, and you can uh, auto sound active, master slave options there, you know, so this was a nice bright, you know, but just real on the cheaper end up light, man. You know, they're not huge and big and bulky. Right, it's got a nice little stand there to uplight whatever you want to uplight. They work great. I still use them again. You know, oh here. Right? DMX in and out, all that. It's you know, a great little light for what it is, man. For the price point, it was great. Right? So I got a couple of those. And then we got these. These, I only use these for weddings, and they work great for, I mainly use them for a spotlight, but they, uh, they're they nice and bright. They're a moving head spotlight. They got seven gobos, but they work great. I can uh, customize them to whatever color, really, that the bride wants, but 
these are a great light and uh, again I just put them up on a tripod and use them for weddings and, uh, but they got gobos and they work great if I want to use them for school dances or stuff like that I can do that but that's uh, a lot of times I just use the gig bar for that and speaking of the gig bar gig bar is right here this is the Chauvet DJ gig bar move, right? And uh, I don't use this for weddings anymore just because of, I, I don't like the lasers and the, uh, you know, the derby lights. They don't go great for weddings. It just kind of looks tacky. So we only use that for schools and, uh, you know, sweet 16s and, and stuff like that. Some other events, you know, but... We, we don't use this for weddings is what I'm trying to say. So, and then I'm sticking on lighting here. We upgraded to these, shout out DJ Rick Webb. We got the, both lighting. These are still, still on UV from our black light party that we had the other day. But they, uh, let's see, making my hat glow. These are great. They're completely wireless, obviously. They got a nice little stand here, or you can hang them from a tripod or from a light bar, you know, and uh, they work great. Ba nice battery life on these. I got the three LED, so again, these are both lighting, no sponsorship, nothing like that, but it's just, a, it, they work great for me. And uh, I plan on getting some more from DJ Rick Webb over there. And we got a, a nice amount of them, enough so that we can uplight any kind of size room. Right, we got 16 here, and we got some more out in the truck. I think to all together we got like 32 or something like that. So a along with the lighting, we use uh, sometimes the My DMX Go. We use that My DMX Go to control some of our lighting, and uh, but sometimes with the up lights, I just like to kind of use them, set them on a, a color that customize them, whatever the bride wants, whatever color, and uh, we just kind of leave it there. Um, all right, right here we got the Jackery, the Jackery 1500. This is our power station. This lets us be super versatile and to be able to have a ceremony for a wedding in the middle of a field, in a barn, on top of a hill, next to a river, wherever you want your ceremony, we can get you there with this. This is a great power station and I can power a nice size system off of this. Um, I also use it as a backup, so don't worry if power goes out, we can still party with this. So again, that's the 1500 and uh, that's expensive. They have more inexpensive versions, um, you know, so if you want to start smaller, you can. Um, and then we'll move over to sound, okay? So this is our smaller mixer, this is a Harbinger mixer that we use a lot of times um but it's got everything we need it's got bluetooth it gives us uh, great capabilities it's got a stereo out so we can have our videographers or if it's the recording sound we can get that out to them it's got mics and it's a nice little port very portable you know super compact i can set this almost anywhere and get good quality sound out of a mixer Right, so we're using that. And then if we need a big mixer, we pull out the big boy, the big guns. So this is the Behringer Zen X, X2442 USB mixer, right? We got a great sound effects processor here for microphone, karaoke parties. We got all the mics, right? But we can put great sound effects on those mics with our, our Behringer here. And uh, so mainly I use this for if I'm going to be DJing with a band at a wedding or something like that, a bigger event, 
obviously I'm gonna run the big board and uh, but like I said if you got a, a budget that you're working with get something that you can afford that's not gonna break the bank and this thing works great again this is newer so it's got Bluetooth capability that's huge and it gives me great sound at those ceremonies for sure and then we use our speakers we use these a lot these are one of our main speakers that we use again harbinger this is quality stuff but it's not the most expensive get what you can to give your clients a good sound these are the very 2310s they're bluetooth again and they got all your hookups here eq they sound great and they're nice and light it's a 10 inch so i can put these almost anywhere gives me great sound for ceremonies and i'll upgrade when i can you know and i also in the truck i have my 15 inch harbingers that I started with. I started with 15 inch harbinger PA speakers and uh, I just got these and I love them. But we'll, we'll get some other ones going when, when our budget allows for it. Right here is the big boy. This is the Mackie 18 inch subwoofer. So I'm bringing this out to those bigger high school dances or you know bigger outdoor events and stuff like that this is the srm 1801 mackie 18 inch subwoofer okay these i use more than anything we got the harbinger s12 subwoofers these are amazing i'm really happy with these and uh might pick up one more i got two of these that i use and uh we're gonna keep building our sound as we go. Again, the other equipment is out in the truck ready to rock and roll at all times. So we got four 15 inch subwoofers out, or I'm sorry, four 15 inch PA speakers out there. And we also got one second, let me show you these. All right, update. <laughs> Obviously, we went and got a couple of the other speakers here. So these are the OGs. These are my first PA speakers that I got. These are the Harbinger 15-inch APS-15. And these are great. They've worked great for me. I've had no issues with them as far as, you know, they've never overheated on me they've never you know broken down on me none of that so these are a great so a great pa speaker and something that i've had i so i got two of these and that 15 or 18 inch mackie subwoofer was my first setup and uh well before that though i had this subwoofer box here these 15s and then i ran these these are mtx 12 inch you got a, a tweeter and sub combo and these believe it or not these things thump so i had that going with my mtx 3000 the mixer this is the og where i only had i had a vinyl record turntable right and then I had my laptop on another channel and I had two microphone hookups. Uh, it's a four channel, right? So had a little sample bank here and a little effects that I could throw on there, you know? So that was the first setup was the MTXs with these high tech subwoofers. High tech is the name of the company. And then I use this a lot this is the chaos pad this gives me a lot of cool options as far as vocal effects 
and stuff like that. It's a cord chaos pad and uh, you know, you just plug your mic in right here and it's a touch pad so you can make all kind of cool effects on your microphone but then you can also you can make really cool beats with this and I, I my passion is drum and bass music and I produce drum and bass music so I use this a lot for that for live you know drum and bass beats it works great and uh, this is this is just a, a little portion of some of the equipment that I use and uh, We'll do a part two to this video at some point. We'll, we'll do a part two, but this is also a piece of equipment that I use for my home studio. This is an Akai, and it's the EIE interface, and this thing is really cool. It's got the old school vibes with the VU dials there, you know, but this thing works great. It's, you know, got USBs and all kinds of good stuff for your home studio. But that's just a little rundown on just some of the equipment. We'll get into, uh, we'll get into a more detailed video at some point. And, uh, but again, these were the OG setups, man. Get in where you fit in, fake it till you make it. Don't let these other DJs shame you into thinking you got to have the most expensive speakers out there that are going to cost you $1,000 a piece or something. No, you can get these nice Harbingers. This is Guitar Center's brand, and I'm not sponsored by them, nothing, it, you know, but I used these MTXs before that, and they worked great for me. So get in where you fit in, people. All right. Like I said, I definitely recommend these. Let me do a little quicker little dive on these. Like I said, hit up DJ Rick Webb for these, but these are great. And uh, they're Chinese, both lighting, up lights, but they. Uh, they work great, you know, they, they, uh, you can see this is the, the black light feature and, uh, these work great. I had a few of these set up on the stage and they were working awesome. You know, you can set up, uh, you can stand them up there. They got the arm right there so you can angle them however you want, but they work great for me. And they got the remote control, so you can hit them with the remote control. And uh, let me see which ones, there we go. There we got batteries and uh, so you can see the remote control. Mm. Gives you your different colors, right? There's a good one, Amber, that's a good one. And they got some, uh, you know, some good features on here. Sound active, strobe. You can do the strobe. Snap. Your fade. And then auto. And with the master slave function, those things work great. You got your on and off. I can just turn them off so you can black them out for certain parts, but... I like to just really, I like to run them and uh, just have them on a steady color for weddings. You, you know, they, uh, they do great, man. You see, they're bright. They're super bright. So, again, hit up DJ Rick Webb for those. and uh, Or you can go straight to both lighting and uh, get them on their site. But... I recommend doing it through DJ Rick Webb because he can uh, he can help you out as far as if anything goes wrong with them. You know, he can uh, he can get you hooked up with a replacement or a repair on those without too much hassle. To where if you just get them straight from China, I mean, good luck on the customer service. So 
who knows, you know, are you going to want to ship it back to China? Or are you going to want to ship it to DJ Rick Webb right at, at, here in America? I think he's in like North Carolina or South Carolina, one of those. But anyway, hit DJ Rick Webb up for those. And then these are also really great lights. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I'm just telling you, I just want to give some DJs some good advice out there as far as what lights to get or how I got my start. Again, that's all I'm doing, trying to help people out, trying to help out my fellow DJ. Again, I had some people reach out in the comments and ask me about some of my equipment, so I figured I'd do a little video part, uh, you know, two or three series on uh, my equipment. So this is the battery, again, it's battery powered light strip from Rockville. This is their light strip 24, battery strip 24, sorry. And uh, it's great, super bright. I think it's still set, yeah, still set to green from St. Patrick's Day. We did a, a gig at Bar Louie for St. Patrick's Day and uh, you can see some of the smoke there from my little safety meeting I just took. But uh, we got, you know, I put this behind the head table for weddings a lot because uh, that way you don't have to run any cables or wires. So the bride and the groom are not gonna trip over anything. I can set it to whatever color they want. And, uh, but it's great on the sound active mode too. It's really cool. Um, so again, if you don't have the money to DMX all your stuff and, and you just want sound active, it's pretty good, man, for sound active. You know, you can set this up and, and get some cool light shows going uh, for pretty cheap. So, again, do what you can, what your budget allows. You don't have, if you can afford all the top end, you know, thousand dollar lights, good, that's great. And, and I say, you know, obviously do it. But if you can't, Rockville is a great company. They, they're going to give you quality equipment. And uh, you can go straight to rockville.com and, and get some quality lights for, you know, without breaking the bank. I'll say that. Again, here's another great light. This one is not battery powered, but all the same, uh, I just figured I'd tell you about it. So this is a great light to put behind a facade or something like that. And uh, you know, it's just another nice LED light strip. And again, there's all kinds of companies that have them. Chauvet, ADJ, you know, a bunch of different companies carry a light like this. So. You know, it's just got nice LEDs, and I like the light dispersion and the way the light is thrown from this light specifically. Again, you know, it, it's got your DMX and all that, but if you don't have the money to DMX your stuff, you can throw this light on auto, and it's going to give you a great light show still. But, again... Do what your budget allows, obviously, you know. If you can afford a, a top-end light, and, uh, you, you know, my point is, basically, do what you can, and be don't be afraid to be different. You don't have to get the same lights that every DJ is using. You don't have to get these lights that I'm using. Find your own style and what fits your budget. Obviously, that depends the most. Figure out your budget and go from there and you've seen in my other videos we got our tube lights i put tube lights on my speaker stands and uh, it gives me a nice a nice unique kind of look not every dj is running that look and uh you know it it, it, it works for me for now you know i'm gonna upgrade and improve every time i can but for now that's what I'm working with, and I just wanted to do a little rundown. We'll, we'll do another part to this to where we, you know, show you more of our, uh, on the job site, on the event, we'll, we'll break down our equipment a little bit more in a video soon to come. So stay tuned, YouTube, and uh, thanks for all your questions, and 
again, we do these videos mainly for our clients. And I, I recommend that you guys get some videos going, get a social media presence, whether it's Facebook, start a Facebook page. You know, if you can't afford a full, you know, customized website for yourself, start a Facebook page and start there. You can upload videos to that and start a YouTube channel. You know, you can get some good advice and, and, and get linked into the DJ community on YouTube. But for the most part, I make these videos for my clients, you know, for potential clients so they can see what they're paying for. They can get an idea of my personality. They can get an idea of my DJ style. And then that can, it, these videos give them an idea of, oh, okay, I like this. I like these lights, but I don't like this. Or I want my wedding to only have lights here or there. And it gives just, gives them ideas on possible options for their wedding or their school dance, their event. So anyway, again, I had some people that were hitting me up in the comments and wanted to know a little bit more about my equipment. I'll do a, a little better rundown of my DJ controller, which is the Pioneer DJSZ. Um, you can look back on some of my other videos and see that I got some quick shots of it in there. And uh, But we'll do a, uh, an on-site our next wedding or our next school dance, we'll get a better rundown of the equipment that we're using that day. And uh, I appreciate all you guys for reaching out that wanted to know. Hopefully this helps. If not, let me know in the comments what you want to see more of and uh, what you want me to showcase more of. Uh, any questions that you have about my equipment or equipment you're thinking about getting, feel free to put them in the comments and let me know. And I'd love to help you guys out. You know, I didn't have anybody really helping me out when I was a DJ like this. So YouTube is great for that. So utilize it to your advantage, DJs that are coming up out there. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out and keep spinning those tunes, baby.